Hi everyone. We would like to provide a quick overview of Veritas Net Backup SaaS protection. Veritas Net Backup SaaS protection is a cloud platform that provides backup and archival of unstructured data from different environments. And we primarily capture the environments like Microsoft 365, which means we capture the content from Exchange, SharePoint, Teams, OneDrive for Business, but we also have a native integration with different SaaS platforms like Box, Slack, and we have a capability to add workloads like AWS S3 and Azure Object Storage. So what we're seeing here is the landing page of Veritas Net Backup SaaS protection. And the way we capture the content is through a, what we call connectors. These connectors are software components that are specific for each type of environment. So you can see we have SharePoint connectors, we have Exchange connectors, and we can have unlimited numbers of specific connector, which allows us to do things like breaking down the source environment across different connectors. And each connector is configurable by adding these high level items that you can see on the screen. So we can provide the scope, we can provide the credentials, we can define the scheduling. And scheduling is a competitive advantage for us because we can have one or more tasks that would allow us to create a schedule to meet the customer requirements. And as we have multiple connectors, each one of these connectors has its own set of configurable items. So it's very flexible to configure it. So this is how we capture the content. The content is stored in the platform and we can see that content via the content browser. And as we are looking into the content browser, we can see the structure. We have a different storage accounts and then every storage account has one or more connectors that are writing to it. Each connector has its own scope. It may have one or multiple mailbox accounts that are being backed up, but within each connector and each mailbox, we can see the structure of uh, the SMTP mailboxes that are being captured. So you can see the custom folders or you can see the subfolders, and then you can go down all the way to the item level to see the content that is being captured. So, the next thing that I would like to show is how we can restore the content from the Net Backup SaaS platform back to an original location. And we can do that in a different ways. One of the ways that we will show is how to do that from the admin portal. For that reason, I have this mailbox that is created here. And in a specific folder, I'm going to delete the data to simulate a data loss. Now, this data has been backed up and I'm going to restore that data into the original location. So this is the test subfolder, and I'm selecting all these items, and from within the admin portal, we have a capability to restore this data back to the original location. Through this window, we select several things like the environment, the administrative connection that I have to my Microsoft 365 environment, then I can set up things like sending notification to a particular user account, and then once I select the SMTP and the folder path, I can execute the process of restore. We can restore to original location, but we can also restore to an alternative location by changing the SMTP address or even changing the folder path. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click restore and then an export job is now queued and will execute the process of restore. So if I switch over here, we should be able to see how the emails are being restored into the test folder. If I do a refresh of the environment, we should be able to see how the emails are coming back to the environment. There, the emails will be restored now back into the folder that we've selected. So that's the process of restore. The next thing I would like to show is our analytics capability. The analytics capability allows us to provide an information about the data that's being captured. And we see the analytics can be at a different scope. It can be across all the workloads that have been captured and it provides an information like the amount of data or the number of items, but it also provides an additional view. So we can see these different documents and their types their breakdown across different file formats, or you can see how the data has been distributed across these different storage tiers. And also we have a history chart that allows you to see information like trending. Again, this analytical information can be at the different level 
and it can also be at the policy level, at a particular workload, or across your whole tenant. And the last thing that I would like to show is a Veritasnet backup SaaS protection search capability. All the data that is ingested within this platform is subject to search. Because we capture the metadata, we can create a search criteria that allows us to use that metadata in creating the search criteria. Once I define the scope, if I have a full text indexing, I can also add a keyword to my search. So for example, if I select the word Hub Store and I want to search across my emails. So this allows me to create a search criteria where I will be able to search for all the emails that have the keyword Hub Store in it. And then once I get to an initial set of results, what I can do is I can add any one of this additional metadata just to narrow down the search. So maybe I want to add a sender. So this is going to now narrow down the search to all the emails with the word Hub Store in it that are sent by a particular individual. And then this narrow down the search of my items. And other things you can do within the search criteria is now you can save that search to be reused later by anyone in the organization, or you can add these items to a case. A case is a logical container of all these items that would allow us to do different things like put this uh, data to a legal hold or export this data for a further processing. That would be all. Thank you very much for watching.